Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you the next video tutorial of Xamarin Farm Projects online food delivery app with ASP.NET Core. So in this project I'm going to uh, show you, uh, first of all that, that is the previous video I have already discussed about the cart controller and here we have a cart controller like a get, a post, total items and total amount and delete. This all things are clear in the past, in the last video tutorial. In this video tutorial, uh, I would like to discuss about the orders controller and here we have a order control and uh, looking like that, uh, the uh, orders controller and in the orders controller con constructor we have a context class and in the post we have uh, some order specification like is completed that is false, order date that is uh, date time dot now and the current context we uh, just I want to uh, save with the orders like that or context.orders.add that is the order and context.save changes so by default the uh, is completed is false the next one is uh, calculate the cart items uh, by using the context.cartitems.where x.customerid is double equals to order.userid okay so here we have a uh, that's only cart items get uh, get it from the cart mm, that is matched with the user id okay so here with the list of the cart items one by one uh, we just re uh, retrieve all these uh, cart items by using items in cart items order detail order detail we have a price order total quantity product id and order id so one by one we can just uh, pass that detail in the order detail actually order detail is related to the product so just price order uh, total quantities product id and the order id now just after add we can just add the uh, order detail by using the context class so just after that save changes perform and context dot cart items dot remove range the all items just uh, after adding into the order just remove from the carts now after that we can save changes perform and generate the order id okay so here we have a complete post action method for the order if you want to get uh, only uh, just retrieve uh, pending orders so only admin can retrieve the pending orders by using context.orders.where is completed equals to false that is the pending orders so just return okay with the orders the next one is the completed order so is completed is true so just retrieve uh, in the form of orders so where orders equals to context dot orders dot where is completed equals to true and then return orders the next one is the order detail <coughs> order detail page so order detail we have just retrieve context dot orders dot where x dot id is double equals to order id just i want to get the order id and order have the order detail and also with the product so just you can use include uh, with the loosely coupled and then include that is the navigation so just you can uh, get the order detail by their order id the next one is the total orders total orders i mean to say that it is is completed that is false that is the total orders from orders in the context orders where orders dot is completed is false just count it by using select dot order dot is completed is count that is the pending orders you can say that that is the pending orders pending total orders you can say and the next one is orders by user if you want to get uh, which order uh, that is generated by users so just you can use order context dot orders where x dot user id is user id order by descending by the order date okay and the next one is mark order completed which order is completed that is marked by the user so here we have a order id and the from body order and order context dot orders dot find order id just i want to find the orders from the database table and if order from the database is double equals to null that return not found otherwise is completed that is modified from the order that is the post request mark order is completed that is is completed set the is completed is true okay so here we have a order details 
now after that uh, just open the postman and uh, after open the postman you just test this api with few data okay so just after that first of all uh, run this food app and after that you can check uh, by the postman so here we have a postman that is already uh, So first of all remove all this and uh, in between your application will start. Here you can see uh, here we have a orders products and the uh, carts and API so here we have a food app and uh, in the collections just add a new import and the collection is what that is your swagger file and that is swagger vi dot json file in which we have all completed data so just save in the json and add uh, in the format of json and add in the collection and import new file new upload image mm, api.json file and here we have a food app so in the api we have uh, just uh, first of all check accounts controller in the accounts controller first of all just open register controller and here we have a register that there is the id email name uh, lots of data so first of all open food app and in the register controller you can say uh, that is the model in the register user so here we have a name email role and the passwords so so first of all name email and password just i want to enter it uh, in the user table so in just open name email and password here we have a id there is a no need okay so role is also no need name email and password is there and order is also there is not required so here we have a name email and passwords and just enter it the name that is jacob okay in the caps and in the email we can just use jacob at the rate of gmail.com and the password also a jacob okay jacob okay so just send it but you can see that that is the not a base uri is completed so just open your swagger ui and use your base uri that is the local host uh, 5001 is the base uri app so just you can use it here and just click on the send button but you can see that error is there because the double quotation is not mentioned in the uh, password that is jacob so just click again send it and here we have a 201 is created i mean to say that user is created now just open there is a second uh, login first of all base uri is match so just you can use this just copy and paste it here and the name uh, email and the password is required so email is what email is what uh, email i mean to say that that is the jacob at the rate of uh, gmail.com and the password is oops password is what password is jacob there is a password okay so just click on the send button 
and here we have a access token related to the uh, required gmail id and the user id is 7 username is jacob and expire in this time creation time and expiration time and here we have a access token so uh, thank you guys for watching this video and account controller is completed the next one is the category controller and the next one is product again cart and the last one is order order so one by one i will complete all these things uh, but uh, today we'll finish this time uh, and uh, i hope uh, you enjoy this video and uh, please like this video and uh, share uh, this video on your ins on your social platform and also don't forget please subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching